Hey, hello guys and welcome in a new video. In this playlist, I would like to show you how to use Ansible. This playlist will consist of 80 to 100 videos. Each video is made up of simple examples. And occasionally, we will compile past videos with more complex examples. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel and you can uh, like uh, this video and comment it. Today, we will see the fetch module. If you want, you can uh, find the documentation and to do it, you can follow this link. The fetch module uh, is the reverse of the copy module. The fetch module doesn't push a file, but pull it. It's very useful for centralizing uh, files from different servers. So let's start by looking some parameters. First parameter, the dest parameter. This is where you want to store the file uh, on your Ansible server or on your laptop or on, with delegate option, uh, you can uh, push uh, this uh, file on whatever server. The fail on missing parameter, uh, this is to generate an error if the file is not present on target server. By default, uh, this option is uh, set to yes. The flat uh, parameter to overwrite the destination file on our uh, Ansible server, for example. The source uh, parameter, this is uh, which file uh, do you like to collect. Validate uh, checksum uh, to validate the file with a checksum. And now we can uh, do uh, some examples. Before uh, we want to create uh, some servers, uh, I want to create three servers. Uh, to do it, I invite you to watch the video number 12 to understand uh, my script. This is a deploy script. So to use it, I use deploy. Uh, so uh, before I use drop option. Yes. And now I want to create uh, three servers. I use dash dash create option with my uh, number of servers. I have three servers, dot two, dot three, dot four. And uh, to use uh, my servers and uh, uh, to have an inventory uh, file, I use dash dash, dash uh, ansible option. And now if I do a tree, I have an ansible directory with my inventory file. If I check ansible, I can check uh, my inventory file and into this file, I have my uh, servers. Okay, so now I can create a playbook file in my Ansible directory. I create uh, my playbook.yml file. And uh, to do a fetch, uh, first example, I name my playbook, my first playbook, okay. So uh, what is, um, which, which target server? So I want to use all group. And after it, I can uh, add the task line. And now I can write uh, a task to use uh, the fetch module, okay? Uh, use the fetch module, this is an example. And I tell I want to use the fetch module. I uh, specify the source. I want to collect etc host uh, file okay on uh, each server and I want uh, to store it on uh, our uh, laptop in uh, in a collect directory okay like it so I need to create this directory 
collect. Okay. And I save it. Now I can run my playbook with Ansible playbook command dash i. My, ah, sorry, I'm not into Ansible directory. Ansible playbook dash i. And I want to run uh, the playbook file, playbook.yml. I run it. So I run it uh, on my three servers, target servers. If I go now into collect, I have three directory, one by uh, server, target server. And I have uh, by default uh, the same uh, path uh, of my source uh, into my fetch module. So I can see the host into uh, my first server, 17.17.0.2, okay. If I want, uh, I can see an, another server, I can see this one, and, another, and my, uh, uh, in my last server, I can see host, OTC host, okay. Another example, if you want, you can, uh, we can remove uh, all this directory like it. So, yes, I want to remove it. Delete. Okay. And uh, I want to remove this one. Yes, I have a collect directory, an empty directory. And now I want to show you another example. If you want, you can uh, use the dest and uh, you can specify the uh, destination file, okay? Uh, to do it, we want to use a prefix, host for example, and we had a Jinja variable uh, on Sibel. So host name. This is the host name of uh, our target server. And I specify an extension like it with .txt or whatever. So I run it again. And now if I go into my collect directory, I can find uh, one directory by uh, host and I can uh, check the, the name of uh, this directory. It's host and underscore okay, Debian uh, one. This is the name of my host name. If I go into 172.17.0.2, if I tell host name, I have this name, okay? Another example, you, you can use the flat option, okay? So, do it, I use flat to yes. I save it again. And now I want to remove uh, these directories. Like it. So delete. So I can delete all the directory. Like it, I create same directory, I save it, and now I run it again. And if I go into collect, now we don't have uh, one directory per uh, server, but one file per server, okay? Uh, maybe it's better in our case because we have only one file uh, by, by server. Uh, this is the flat uh, to yes uh, parameter. We can do a funny example to finish. Uh, yes. To do it, what we want to do, we want to combine uh, with an engine uh, to display in our uh, browser uh, the content of uh, our uh, collect file. Okay. To do it, we create the first part of our uh, playbook to 
install nginx uh, web server in our uh, laptop and uh, for, to do it we run uh, become yes uh, for privilege escalation and we want to uh, install nginx and we use uh, the apt module and uh, the name of my package I want a uh, state to present. After I do a second task uh, to remove all file into uh, slash uh, var w, w, w html uh, and that's all. After I want to do a second part of my uh, of my playbook like here so i can remove it so yes uh, in this part i want to run the fetch module i want to collect host uh, like uh, in the previous uh, examples and uh, i want to store uh, now uh, etc host into uh, my uh, engines uh, directory okay so I save it and uh, I use a flat parameter to do it. So I run it again. Oh, maybe I have an error in, in 12 uh, and uh, task, task, okay. Oh, yes, this, is this line, uh, sorry. One indentation, I save it again, I run it. So, ah, yes. In first part, uh, we use become yes, and uh, to do it, we must add uh, the sudo password. This is the dash key uh, option into our Ansible playbook command. I can add my, add my password. I run it again, and I Ah, sorry, what uh, cache of the time and dependency, uh, okay. Can add update cache to yes. So I run it again. And now, Ansible install on my uh, local laptop uh, Nginx. So we do a manual task because we don't see, we don't ever see um, a template and uh, some uh, uh, module like uh, line in file module. Uh, we do uh, a manual task with Vim on our laptop. So to do it, I do sudo and uh, I edit slash etc nginx uh, sit available default enter my password and I want to add uh, also this line is already present auto indexed to on and auto index exact size uh, to off okay uh, these two lines. So if I check it now, oh, I have a broken uh, package. What? So I check the manual installation. So at, uh, install engines. Okay fix broken, you can do fix broken, this is more quickly to do it, uh, oh, fix broken and style, yes, I already uh, run uh, this command and uh, maybe this is uh, because I have an error, so now I have cleaned all and I run it again, sorry, I run uh, the apt module 
and uh, Ansible install uh, Nginx into my uh, laptop. And now I have uh, fetch the etc host file. I can check into ls slash var www.html and I can find three files, okay, with my content. And uh, why I want to install Nginx? Because now I have Nginx and uh, I think if I check in CTL status, Nginx is running. No. Oh, okay. I want to start Nginx. So to start it, uh, start Nginx server. And I uh, do, I use uh, systemd, systemd module. And name of uh, my package is Nginx. And I want a uh, status state, sorry, state, state to started. Okay, so I save it, I run it again. I enter my password. Okay, so now I have an Nginx running. If I open a, a browser, Firefox. I go into my 701 and I run this page and I can uh, see my file. This is very simple. Uh, this is uh, only for OTC host, but you can use it uh, for whatever file. Or uh, we will see in uh, next video how to use it with more complex uh, collect with uh, some variables, some uh, database size, or uh, whatever. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. If you want, you can find uh, the uh, you can find uh, slides on code in uh, the desc video description. So I say you goodbye.